I think you guys might like this one. Hey guys, what's up, man? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna reveal the car that I've been keeping from you guys for probably about two weeks now. Um, I did post a picture on Instagram a little while back. I can't remember when it was, but a couple of you guys actually guessed what car I did get. And I, I said this before in other videos, it's a car I used to have. So some of you guys already got it. My boy, Emerald Notch, he got, he got it right. So, and I think there was one or two other people that got it right. But I want to do this video, show you guys what I did get. I've been wanting this car for a while. Um, as you guys already know, I did pick up this supercharged 347 LX. Still have her. Um, she is currently for sale for the right price. Now, you know, I'm only selling this because I bought this car here, right? And I told you guys in other videos that I'm only, you know, I'm only keeping so many cars around. I might keep this car though, we'll see. I do love this car very much. I've been driving it, love this thing. I still have my 93 Cobra, you know, I'm not, you know, you guys, I'm just going to be straight up. More likely, I'll never sell this car unless somebody comes with a big cash offer or something. This car is going to probably be here until I'm dead. But <clears throat> now, before I show you guys the, the car that, that I got, right, um, I'm going to give you a little uh, update on the 92 Calypso Green LX 5.0. Uh, automatic it's still it's still at my buddy's shop we just got done painting it um, no I didn't get footage of the process and, and it getting painted um, I did get some pictures and the reason why <clears throat> I didn't film the whole process is because I didn't think a lot of people really wanted to see it you know and um, I just didn't want to go through all the filming and really not getting a lot of um interaction or views you know I, it just wasn't i just wanted to get it done pretty much but i will be doing a video update where the car is going to be here because i'm going to finish the car here in the shop okay um we're going to get the hood on the hatchback on it um you know get it drivable so i can drive it back here and go ahead and button it up here. And I will fin I will film all that here. Me buttoning up the 92 Calypso Green LX. And, um, but I just wanted to get the process done, you guys. We went through so many steps painting that car. My buddy, he is very anal about stuff. Um, <clears throat> he's like, well, we're gonna go through, fix any little minor issues. Um, 320 in the whole car, prime in the whole car, 600 in the whole car. Um, just so many process that he, so much different steps that he does when he does body and paint. So, and I was there. I had plenty of experience on this one, you guys. <clears throat> but as, as far as that, that's the situation for the 92 uh, Clipso Green 5.0 LX. A little bit about this car I'm getting ready to show you. Like I said, it's a car I used to have. I'm very, the, besides the 93 Cobra, this car has a very, is ne very near and dear to my heart, right? Um, I sh should have never got rid of the last one that I had. Cause you know, they're getting harder to get to, even in good condition like this one. And um, you know, I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get one. You know, I was gonna hold off for a while and um, I just said, you know what? Let's just get it. Let me just go, let's get it. So there's gonna be there's a story. I'm gonna tell you guys. Me and a buddy of mine, we tracked down two of these cars, okay, and we drove to get them. So he got the same. He got a car the same day as I did. So he got one also. Um, <clears throat> so here we go, you guys. I'm gonna show you. I hope you like it. This is one of the color combinations I was looking for. There was other color combinations I was looking for as well. This one and another one. And uh, no, three of them actually. Um, 
but yeah and a mostly stock car not you know it could have been modified a little bit i was fine with that this one's modified too it's not fully stock <clears throat> so here it is you guys i'm going to show you there we go you guys a 2004 cobra aka the terminator this is color code i think it's called red fire i think and it does have the dark charcoal interior in it so i love this car this thing is in very nice condition. Um, you know, it does have some wear on it, does have some chips on it in the front, rock chips, which I'm gonna get that addressed later on. And um, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> but she is a very beautiful Terminator, you guys. Uh, it has some, the sa some salines on it. Let's see, we're gonna go over this car a little bit because I know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions uh, the rear is 295, 45, 18, okay, and the rear. So 295, 45, 18. On the front's 275, 40, 18. So that's what's on, that's the uh, staggered setup on this car with salines. It looks like saline replicas or something, I don't know. But she is a very beautiful Terminator. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you guys something. The exhaust on this thing is phenomenal, right? So, <clears throat> look at that three inch exhaust all the way down this car. There's three, this is a full three inch exhaust on this car. Now, like I said, this car has been modified a little bit. It has a, a pulley setup on it, so smaller pulley setup. Uh, it's, car, it's been tuned. It's got an end gauge in, the, in there in, the, in the, one of the pods. Um, <clears throat> suspension upgrades um, what else there's a few other ones too I can't even remember right now but um, she's very beautiful I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys the interior the engine compartment will do a start up for you okay so here's the interior you guys if you guys follow this channel you know I'm big into interiors they gotta be nice. Now I did put new Cobra floor mats in here, um, but the carpet itself is pretty nice. The mats were a little war, so I went ahead and put those in. Uh, it's got a cool like eight ball style shifter on it. Seats are in pretty good condition. There's a little wear in the driver's side. That's, that's uh, common in any of these Mustangs. See if you guys got any lighting in here very nice clean interior and here's the other side <clears throat> from the driver's side so very nice we're gonna open up the hood for you guys and we'll get you a start up see if I can open this bad boy with one one arm one hand boom did it look at that that's beautiful she is pretty so like I said, this is a very clean, very clean engine bay, you know, because a lot of people, they don't take care of these cars, you guys, believe it or not. Um, I was searching for a Terminator a little while back and then I stopped looking and then I started looking again. You know, me and, me and my best friend Jake, he owns a body and paint shop. He's the one that, um, he got a Terminator as well. We both got our Terminators the same day. We went, tracked two of them down, Drove from one state to get one, drove to the other state to get one, and then I he, we loaded one up on the trailer, and then I drove actually drove mine back here. So that's how we got both in at the same time. The lighting from the garage door is probably messing everything up, but I'm trying to give you guys a, a good look. <clears throat> But the engine, like I said before, you know, a lot of people won't take care of these cars, but we just happen to get lucky and find two really nice Terminators. His is actually a 2003. You know, if some of you guys don't know, the 03's uh, production, there was more made in 03 than 04. This one's an 04. So mine's a lower production Cobra. Plus, it, they're only made 500 of these red fires. Uh, very low production car, even in the year and the color on this car with the dark charcoal she's very very nice 
and you can tell it has a billet billet flow pulley on it 2.7 is what's on this um, there's a lot of upgrades on the car um, like I said exhaust tune pulley system uh, what else uh, suspension work I didn't really want a big modified car this is plenty for me uh, my now my buddy's Terminator it's a 03 like I said it's silver and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video on that car as well you guys if you want to see it we're gonna do a video he likes to do burnouts in it and he, he can drive <clears throat> so let's get this started up I'm gonna go ahead and, and start this bad boy up for you <laughs> So this car is pretty nice. There's the air fuel. So very nice car, very nice setup. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna get a video on my buddy's car. I love that car. It's actually a silver one. It's, it has the FR 500s. Man, it's the same car that I used to have. Same color, everything. I just couldn't believe that we found one just like mine, um, and that's the one he has. So look at her. There she is, you guys. <clears throat> The two girls hanging out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know, I know I did. Um, some of you guys guessed it. You guys guessed the car. Some of some of you guys were leaning towards Foxes, which I already had. I just, you know, when I purchased this car here, the the Supercharged 347 LX, um, a lot. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys, actually, I actually thought I got a Terminator, and I was kind of waiting on it. I was waiting, waiting. And then, boom, I got one, so. You never know what I'm gonna get, you guys. I might get a 13, 14 Shelby next. I don't know, we'll see. Right now, I'm happy with what I got. You know, I got my 93 Cobra, my 04 Terminator, my Supercharged 347 Stroker LX, Reef Blue, and the 92 Calypso Green 5.0. It's an automatic. That, man, you guys, that car is so solid. There was no rust on that car. And she is beautiful now. The paint job just turned out really, really nice. So I'm happy. So those are the four Mustangs I have right now. Uh, look out for the, hopefully the next video. Um, I'm going to do a video on the Clipso Green. I'm going to do an update. Hopefully I'll have the car here. So but that's it, you guys. Don't want to bore you no longer. There's the old girl. Now let's shut the hood real quick. 
get one more look at her. So let's get one more look at it. There's the old girl hanging out. We'll kind of go go down both cobras here. I actually drove this car the other day too. I do need to get new tires for this car. Um, and I'm gonna get an air box for it. But there they are, there's the girls. And then there's my other girl over there. Hopefully I can get the other one back here, get it started, and I'm gonna start filming more on that car once it's here on the fin you know, finishing up everything. So that's it you guys. Like, share, subscribe, all those goodies, hit that bell. That's very important. And that's it. We'll see you on the next one, you guys.